Welcome to the DBS View, the year of the taper. Financial markets will likely be defined in 2014 by the US Federal Reserve's decision to taper its quantitative easing program. The five-year experiment with force-feeding liquidity into the world's largest economy will end with consequences for almost all asset classes. The market's reaction to commencement of tapering in January reinforced the dynamics established over the second half of 2013. Developed market equities continue to rally. Emerging market equities weakened. The US dollar strengthened alongside gains in US treasury yields. Asia and Japan currencies fell and spot gold continued its descent. Not in a straight line of course, but these trends should continue in coming months. Developed market equities should weather the taper well likely supported by continued economic and earnings growth. The developed market economies of G10 should almost double growth in 2014 from last year. US economic growth should be helped by fading fiscal drag. Europe will continue its modest recovery from the recession of 2011-13. And monetary stimulus should help Japan continue to grow, albeit at a slower pace. U.S. equities will be progressively weaned off the so-called portfolio balance effect where the Fed bought down the yields of U.S. treasuries, driving up the prices of other asset classes. But the gradual withdrawal of liquidity will likely be offset by the Fed maintaining market expectations of a near zero policy rate. Near zero deposit rate in, in key markets remain a disincentive for a withdrawal of funds from risky assets. European equities, which are at an earlier stage of the bull market relative to the US counterparts, are likely to maintain their uptrend supported by low valuations and continued loose monetary policy. And Japan's Nikkei may make further gains on a still weaker yen and higher inflation expectations. However, Emerging market equities and currencies are likely to underperform, particularly in the early part of the year, partly as a result of the impact of the taper on fund flows and partly in response to slowing growth momentum in some emerging economies. Within emerging markets, we continue the differentiation theme favoring the current account surplus economies of North Asia. The reduction in quantitative easing Higher treasury yields and stronger economic growth are the conditions for a stronger US dollar in 2014. Emerging market currencies, particularly those of economies dependent on dollar funding, are likely to see weakness against the greenback. Bonds will likely continue to underperform equities as US government bond yields normalize from multi-decade lows. Higher yielders are likely to do better than investment grades, which in turn should do better than government bonds. Commodities should face headwinds from a stronger USD, oversupply in selected areas, and a growth slowdown in some of the more commodity intensive emerging markets. Thank you for watching the DBSU.